Hey guys, welcome back to Memory Space. This is Fro speaking. If you've been struggling to spell and memorize meanings of English words, Memory Space can help. The phoneme system I use on this channel is 75 common phonograms and 31 spelling rules proposed by the Nisite, the founder of Logic of English. The logically explain pronunciation and spelling of 98% of English words. To easily unlock the meaning of words, I apply more things inspired by home run release, the overall power made easy. Some videos about introduction of these tools are in the core fundamental series. If you're interested in the structure behind English words, please hit the button at the right corner. And if you want more fundamental videos, please leave a comment or hit the like button to let me know. Yes, and the amount of active vocabulary you have is about 2,000 to 3,000, and you can definitely boost your vocabulary to the next level with the half lamp in a short period of time. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to apply them to study in some morphology. Alright, let's get to this. The basic structure of an insect consists of a head, thorax, abdomen, and three pairs of legs. Let's begin with the first word, thorax. Thorax has two syllables, and the stress is at the first one. The first syllable is four. The first sound of th, th, or, all controlled by R. The second syllable is X. Eh, the first sound of A, A, R. X. The first sound of X, Z. Thorax is a base word meaning breastplate or chest. If you've watched the previous episode, hetero also means breast or chest. So now we have three words basically explaining the same thing. Chaste is most commonly used in daily life, and thorax and petrol are mostly used in the scientific context. The next word is abdomen. Abdomen has three syllables and the stress is at the first one. The first syllable is ab. A, the first sound of a, a, a. The, the second syllable is d. The, the, the first schwa sound reduced from o. The second sound of a, o, u. The third syllable is m. m. Uh. The first schwa sound reduced from a, the first sound of a, e, n. The vowels in the second and third syllables place the first schwa sound because they are in all three syllables. Then we say abdomen for spelling purpose by putting the stress on all syllables. Abdomen is a base word meaning belly. The appendages of a head consist of the mouth parts. And antennae, the pearl of antenna. Since the mouth parts were already introduced in the previous episode, let's focus on antenna, the singular of antennae. Antenna has three syllables, and the stress is at the second one. The first syllable is an, a, the first sound of a, 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 n. The second syllable is ten. A, the first sound of a, e. N. The third syllable is n. N. A, the first schwa sound reduced from a, the third sound of a, a, a. And we say antenna for the spelling purpose by putting the stress on all syllables. We recover the phonogram a and say a sound because it's in the end of word. An antenna is a base word meaning yard, a horizontal pole supporting a cell. And if we fold a mast, a vertical pole as a head, then a yard will be like strings or wires projecting out of head. The next section is thorax. The bottom of thorax is covered by prosternum, mesosternum, and metasternum. The top or the back of thorax is covered by pronotum and elytra, the pearl of elytron. The first word is sternum. 
sternum has two syllables and the stress is at the first one. The first syllable is stir. S. The first sound of s. Mm. The er, e controlled by r. The second syllable is num. N. Uh, the first sound of a uh, u u w. Mm. Pro is a prefix meaning forward or outward. Mes or meso is a combining form meaning middle. Meta is a prefix meaning change after, along with or among. Prosternum means breastbone. Prosternum is the first section of the breastbone. Mesosternum is the middle section of the breastbone. And metasternum is, of course, the last section of the breastbone. The next word is pronotum. Pronotum has three syllables and the stress is at the second one. The first syllable is pro. Uh, er, o, the second sound of a, o, u. The second syllable is no. N, o, the second sound of a, o, u. The third syllable is tum. T. Uh, the first sound of a uh, u u wa. Mm. Pro is a prefix meaning forward or outward. Notum is a base word meaning the back. A pronotum means the back shell of the front of a thorax. The next word is erytron, the singular of elytron. Elytron has three syllables and the stress is at the first one. First syllable is L, A, the first sound of A, E, O. The second syllable is E, the second sound of Y, E, I, E. The third syllable is Chong, T, R, A, the first sound of A, O, U. Mm. L Chong is a base word meaning covering or a wing case. The next section is abdomen. The bottom of abdomen is covered by abdominal sclerite, and the top or the back of abdomen is covered by elytra, the plural of erytron. The first word is abdominal. Abdominal has four syllables, and the stress is at the second one. The first syllable is ab, a, the first sound of a, a, a. The second syllable is dom. Ah, the first sound of a o u. Mm. The third syllable is a. Uh. The first chua sound reduced from i. The second sound of e i e y. The last syllable is no. Mm. A. Uh. The first chua sound reduced from a. The first sound of a a o. O. The vowels in the third and the last syllable reduced to the first schwa sound because they are in all stress syllables. And we say abdom i nail for the spelling purpose by putting the stress on all syllables. Abdomin is the combining form of optimum. L is an adjective suffix meaning relating to something. So abdominal means relating to abdomen. The next word is sclerite. Clearite has two syllables and the stress is at the first one. The first syllable is clear. S. The first sound of s. Mm. K. The first sound of k. S. O. E. The second sound of a e. R. The second syllable is it. I. The second sound of e i e y. The phonogram I says the long sound because of a sudden final E. Sclear or sclero is a combining form meaning hard. The noun suffix I has several meanings, and the one used in sclerite means a body part. So sclerite means a hardened body part, and the abdominal sclerite is the hardened belly. It could also mean a native or place such as Israelite, a native of Israel. Hide could also mean a member or supporter of a group, 
the choice of Labour right. Labour is one of the major political parties in the UK, so Labour right means a member or supporter of the Labour Party. Right could also mean a mineral or rock, such as granite. Grain is a combining form meaning grain or wheat. So granite means rock resembling to wheat. Right could also mean a type of oxygen ions, such as nitrite. A natural term atom and several oxygen atoms could form two types of oxygen ions. And the one with fewer oxygen atoms is called nitrite, and the one with more oxygen atoms is called nitrate. The last section is three pairs of legs stretching out from thorax. The leg of an insect consists of several segments, namely coxa, cantor, femur, tibia, process, and claw. The first or is coxa. Coxa has two syllables and stress is the first one. The first syllable is cox. K, the first sound of k, s. R, the first sound of a, o, u. X, the first sound of k, s, z. The second syllable is a. Uh, the first schwa sound reduced from a, the third sound of a, a, a. Coxa is a base word meaning heap. A bow socket joint. The next word is trochanter. Trochanter has three syllables and the stress is at the second one. The first syllable is tro, t, er, o, the second sound of a, o, u. The second syllable is can, k, the second sound of ch, k, sh, a. The first sound of a a o. Mm. The third syllable is ter. T, er, e controlled by r. Trochanter is a base word meaning to run. The process of projection at the upper part of the femur attached by muscles for the sake of running. The next word is emer. Emer has two syllables and the stress is at the first one. The first syllable is fi. E, the second sound of a e. The second syllable is mer. N, er, u controlled by r. Emer is a base word meaning phi. The next word is tibia. Tibia has three syllables and the stress is at the first one. The first syllable is tip, t, e, the first sound of e, i, e, y, e, b. The second syllable is e, the third sound of e, i, e, y. E. The last syllable is e, uh, the first schwa sound reduced from a, uh, the third sound of a, a, a. Tibia is a base word meaning a pipe or flute. The next word is tarsus. Tarsus has two syllables and the stress is at the first one. The first syllable is tar, t, r, a controlled by r. The second syllable is sus, s, the first sound of s, z, a, the first sound of a, u, u, w, s. The first sound of s, z. Arsis is a base word meaning flat surface. The last word is claw. K, the first sound of k, s, o, a. The one may be used at the end of English words, since English words do not end in i, u, v, or j. This says k, because it's followed by l, not e, i, or y. Claw is a base word meaning a sharp nail. And that's it. This is Memory Space Through Speaking. See you on the next video. Bye bye.